There were better commercial stations. Uh, K Rock was great until about '82 out in LA, and and um, and so when the first Black Flag album came out, Damaged, and the first X album came out, K Rock was kind of formatless. Uh, you know, they they um, they had been like a hip R and B you know, rock and roll oldies station when they got their hands on the, on the, uh, you know, on the license. And so this is like 76, 77, 78. And then uh, they went, uh, they went with punk rock and they had Rodney Wingenheimer doing the real local show and the musician show like, you know, blond the Blondie uh, guys and, uh, and Debbie Harry and uh, the Ramones and different people would call in when they were doing stuff and he was uh, he would say oh wow cool wow hey, hey. he's like an Ed Sullivan yeah <laughs> he had no real skills as an interviewer but uh, it was a great show and it was accessible you know that was the main thing you you know people heard that Naomi as a teenager in Simi Valley heard stuff heard the damned heard the Sex Pistols, heard X, Black Flag, television, you know. And uh, this is all before any, you know, wild regular media is blockading it. And um, so, uh, but in blockading it, they retarded the actual flow of American music. And so now when you listen to rock, you, you no longer hear any uh, blues component or any R&B or any uh, rockabilly or any kind of, any kind of, um, uh, any of that American, the whole train of 20th century music got uh, neutered by that blockade. And so what they allowed to come in tended to be British New Wave stuff, which of course has none of that, you know, the cure, and the Smiths, there's, there's just no blues or there's right. no American component.